And don't forget to subscribe to Bag O' Day Crochet. You can subscribe by clicking this red button right here. And don't forget to click this little bell right there next to it. That way you'll always be notified whenever Bag O' Day puts on a new video. Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make the popcorn stitch. Now a lot of people think that the bobble and the popcorn are the same, but they are not. They look similar, but they're made completely differently. Here's what the back looks like on the popcorn. Uh, this stitch is good for anything you want texture on. Um, bags. Uh, make a nice rug, I guess, if you did it out of cotton. Um, scarves anything anything that you can imagine this makes an awesome texture too so uh, let's go ahead and get started on it it's not hard at all it's not hard at all so um if you're interested in the yarn i'm using i'm using i love this yarn by hobby lobby in the metallic red now you can use any yarn you want any size hook you want just depending on you know what yarn you're using um, mine's a four weight yarn I'm using an eye now you want to start with a chain and an even number of stitches so if you're making a scarf you know you make it as thick as you'd want it in an even number blanket you'd make as their chain as long as you wanted as long as it was in an even number of stitches Okay, I'll do, I'll just do my little swatch at 20 stitches. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Like that. And we're going to work and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. And this would be row one. Okay, now once you make it to the end of row one, you should have an odd number now. One less than what you start with what your chain was. I started with a chain of 20, and now I have a chain of 19. So whatever your chain count was, you'll have one less, and it should be an odd number. Now we're gonna start row two, and this will start, we'll start doing the popcorns. So row two and three are the repeat rows of the popcorn stitch. It's just a two row repeat. So we're gonna start row two by chaining one, and turning our work and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a single crochet right here in this very first stitch now the popcorns are made on the front side of your work unlike the bobbles which are made from the back so we're going to go ahead and we're going to work a popcorn stitch into the next stitch so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to work five double crochets all into the same stitch so there's one two three four and there's five so we got five double crochets so here's what we do pull your loop up a little bit and remove your hook Go over to the very first double crochet that you made. Not, not that single, but the very first double crochet that you made and go into it like that. And then go back, grab that loop like that. See? Pull it tight. Now what I like to do is stick my finger right back here. And then pull it through like a slip stitch. Just like that. Pull your finger out. Give it a tug. Pull it tight. And then chain one and that's how you do the popcorn just like that now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a single crochet directly into the next stitch yeah. and now we're going to do a popcorn again so in the next stitch we're going to work five double crochets into the same stitch so there's one 
two, three, four, and there's five. Okay? I kind of put my finger back there like that and pull out my loop just so you don't lose it. Go back and find your first double crochet of the five and put your hook through it. Grab that loop, pull it tight, put your finger up in there, and slip stitch through like that. Remove your finger, pull it tight, and chain one. And now you got your second popcorn stitch. It's pretty easy. It is a yarn eater. I will admit that it is a yarn eater. Just the same as a bobble. Both of them eat up your yarn, but they make awesome texture. So we're going to go ahead and single crochet into the next stitch. And we're just going to kind of repeat that pattern. So we're going to popcorn into the next stitch. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put five double crochets into the next stitch. There's one. two, three, four, and five. Pull it up a little bit, remove your hook. Go down to your first double crochet and insert your hook. And then go back into that loop. Pull it tight and slip stitch it like that. Give it a tug, chain one. There's three popcorns. Now we're going to single crochet again into the next stitch. Again, we're gonna do a popcorn into the next stitch. So we do our five double crochets. One, two, three, four and five pull up your loop a little bit so you don't lose it go back into that first double crochet and grab that loop again put it on your hook pull it tight slip stitch give it a tug chain one single crochet directly into the next stitch so that's it that's what we're going to repeat to the end of the row it's okay if it starts curling up and stuff that's it'll do that it's no big deal it st straightens out when you get more rows of going on it so we're just going to repeat the popcorn single crochet popcorn single crochet until you get to the end of the row so we're going to do one more i'm going to do one more popcorn here so i'm going to work five double crochets into the next stitch Pull up a little bit so you don't lose that loop. Go back into the very first double crochet of that group of five and then grab your loop again. Pull it tight here. Put your finger back there. Slip stitch through. Pull your finger out. Give it a tug. Chain one. Single crochet into the next stitch. That's it. That's what I'm going to repeat until I get to the end. But that's what it starts to look like. Got your little popcorn going on. So I'm going to do popcorn single, popcorn single, all the way until the end of the row. All right, I'm coming to the end. I just did my last popcorn. I did my chain one. I got one stitch left here. And I'm going to go ahead and single crochet into that last stitch. And that'll end row one. Or row two. I'm sorry. Row two. So for row three, we are going to chain one and turn our work probably going to be all curly that's fine now we're going to put a single crochet in every single stitch across starting with this very very first stitch here single crochet and then we'll single crochet into the top of this popcorn it doesn't have to be exact but it should be kind of right about there and then you single crochet into the next single crochet from the previous row and then single crochet into the top of the popcorn from the previous row. 
single crochet there from the previous row and then the top of the popcorn right here from the previous row like I said it doesn't have to be exact just kind of try to get in the top of the popcorn there and then you do every single you go single crochet into every single crochet and then the top of every popcorn until you get to the end of the row It gets easier when you get a few more rows on. Right now it's just kind of twisty. But it'll be better. Okay, I'm coming up to the end here. I'm going to single crochet here into my last pop, top of my last popcorn. And then I'm going to single crochet into my last stitch. And that will end row three. And and that's it it's just a repeat of rows two and three and it still be probably kind of twisty until you get more rows of going but for row four i'm just going to repeat row two which was the popcorn row again so i'll just single crochet into the very first stitch and then popcorn into the next stitch so that's where i'll put my five double crochets Take out my hook, insert it into the first double crochet of the five, go grab my loop up again, pull it kind of tight, stick a finger in there and slip stitch it through, give it a tug, chain one, and then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then I'll popcorn, single crochet, popcorn, single crochet, all the way to the end. And then I'm just going to keep repeating rows two and three. You repeat the popcorn stitch row and the single crochet row. And this is what you'll end up with after a while. Like I said, it is a bit time consuming. It is a yarn eater, but it's super cool. You can't deny that. It makes some awesome, awesome projects. So that is it. I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you look over there on the right hand side right now, there's a video showing you how to do the bobble stitch. If you have not seen that, that way you can see the difference in the two. How they are similar, yet made very differently. So that's it. This is how you crochet the popcorn stitch. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good night.